December is quickly wrapping up. You're probably getting some Switch-related presents underneath your tree, and that means one thing. New Nintendo Switch games are coming out in the month of January. Every month I like to take a look at the upcoming games for the next month to see what games should be on your radar, what games might interest you, and what games are worth your coin. This month we have nine games to talk about that are releasing in the month of January, and I think there's something for everyone in this. So what games are coming out in January? What games should you have on your radar, and what games might you be interested that are coming out that month? Sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about the best upcoming Nintendo Switch games for the month of January 2019. Hey, RGT85. Hey, Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards. The first game I want to talk about is a game called Double Cross. Now, Double Cross releases on the Nintendo Switch on January 10th, and there's definitely some very, very strong Mega Man vibes in this game. You play as a character named Zara in a 2D action adventure game. You can also upgrade your character as you play along, and you can choose what levels you want to play in whatever order you want, so much like a Mega Man game. You have a proton slinger that allows you to grab and throw objects in a level, and you also have upgradable weapons and combos as well much like a Mega Man game. It definitely has that Mega Man vibe to it. You can even look at the 2D graphical style of the game and see that this definitely draws a lot of inspiration from Mega Man. But Mega Man is obviously a very hot franchise right now. We just got Mega Man 11, and I feel like a lot of people are finishing up with Mega Man 11. So Double Cross could kind of scratch that Mega Man itch that you might be having. Once again, Double Cross will be releasing on the Nintendo Switch on January 10th, and I think is a game that has some potential. The next game I want to talk about also releases on January 10th and is called Snowboarding Next Phase. And since Steep is not coming to the Nintendo Switch anymore, snowboarding fans only really have one game to look forward to. And honestly, I literally knew nothing about this game besides the fact that it popped up when I was researching games to talk about on this video, but I honestly think it looks kind of dope. There's a career mode and an arcade mode, and in the arcade mode you have access to a worldwide leaderboard system to post your best high score runs. You also go to various locations and snowboard on various mountains and honestly that's all I really know about the game. I think it looks decent enough though. This obviously isn't a full-fledged release like something like Steep would have been and extreme sports games, you know skateboarding games and things like that aren't very common on the Nintendo Switch. So I feel like snowboarding the next phase could actually be a potentially good game. It looks pretty fun. I like the graphical style. It looks pretty clean. I'm very interested to see how the tricks mechanics are in the game. Will it be somewhat more realistic or will it be more arcadey style? But I definitely have this game on my radar. Once again, snowboarding the next phase comes out on January 10th, and honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to it. The next game I want to talk about is the big Nintendo release from Nintendo for the month of January, and that is coming to us on January 11th with New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Now, this game was originally released on the Wii U, and New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe has arguably the worst name of a Nintendo Switch game to date. Like, it just doesn't roll off your tongue. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Like, you could have called it something different, Nintendo. But alas, the game is a very highly rated 2D Mario game, and this version of the game actually includes Nabbit and Toadette as playable characters as well. Of course, there is a strong emphasis on local multiplayer in this game. The game features both New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Luigi U on the same card, which were separate releases on the Wii U version of the game. I mean, really, it's a 2D Mario game. What can you really say? If you missed out on the Wii U version or just never owned a Wii U, it's probably a safe bet to pick up this game and enjoy it with some local multiplayer fun. The game still looks great. A lot of Wii U games have aged very well, I feel. So I think this will be a worthwhile addition to the Nintendo Switch library. If you've already played it, you'll probably want to skip it, but if you haven't, it's definitely a game worth checking out. Also releasing on January 11th, we have Hive Jump, which I think is a cool looking game that some old school fans might really enjoy. It looks like a kind of a blend of like Contra and Metroid. It's a very run and gun style game. And there's basically, once again, local multiplayer in mind. You can team up with up to three different friends and play this game via local multiplayer. It's very run and gun, like I said. You're basically going through uh, procedurally generated levels that have traps and enemies and boss battles, and you're upgrading your weapons as you go along. I think the the graphical style of the game looks really clean. It looks like a very fast paced and frantic game. And I think it's a game that I will actually enjoy. I love the old school Contra and Metroid style games. So I think this will be a decent game for Nintendo Switch owners. Like I said, High Jump will be coming to the Nintendo Switch on January 11th. And if you got some friends to play it with, it looks like it's going to be a really good time. 
RPG fans have a really big game coming out in the month of January, and that is Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, which will be releasing on January 11th for the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, and Xbox One and Steam. This game is considered by many to be the best Tales game in the series, and Tales of Vesperia gets a definitive edition that of course is coming to the Switch on January 11th. It's an HD remaster of the original game that released on the Xbox 360, but Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition has some new characters that you can play as. There's two new characters, there's remix music, there's boss battles and mini games, all sorts of stuff. The best part about the Tales games though has to be the combat system. It's very fast, very frantic, it almost feels sort of like a fighting game more so than an RPG, and I've always really enjoyed that about the Tales series. I've actually never played Tales of Asperia, but I really loved Tales of Symphonia on the GameCube, which in my opinion is the best Tales game to gate. But maybe Tales of Asperia will sort of override that if it's really that good. I'm definitely looking forward to playing this game. It looks really clean. I think the additional content is really good. There's also some unlockable costumes that were via DLC that you can get in this game as well, unreleased DLC as well. So I think it looks very promising. Tales of Asperia Definitive Edition comes out on January 11th and it's definitely a game that RPG fans should check out. On January 15th, a game that I definitely recommend if you're a fan of old school Resident Evil games is coming to the Nintendo Switch in the US, and that is Animusha Warlords. And I know what you're saying to yourself, well, RGT, you've already reviewed this game. Yes, I did, but a lot of people don't like to go to the Japanese eShop and purchase things and have to get, you know, Japanese currency and Japanese eShop cards in order to play those games, so I feel like some people will be waiting for this, but I definitely recommend it. It's essentially an old school style Resident Evil game with ninjas. You play as a character named Samano Suke, who has to save his cousin who is a princess from all these creepy monsters. It definitely feels like an old school Resident Evil with the fixed camera system, but I really like the combat in the game. I think the combat is fun. It's a short game. You'll get through it pretty quickly, but it's definitely a game worth checking out. It was great on the PS2, and I still think it holds up today, even though it's nearly 17 years old now. Animusha Warlords, like I said, comes to the Nintendo Switch on January 15th. Make sure you guys check out my full review of that game to get my deeper thoughts on it, but I think it's a really solid game. The next game also releases on January 15th, and that is The Walking Dead Telltale Final Season Episode 3. Who said Telltale was dead? Because they're back, baby. Well, sort of. At least someone is finishing up this game. Clementine's Adventure in the Walking Dead universe picks back up with Episode 3. While I do feel that Telltale games are sort of pigeonholed by the subject matter and don't really do a great job of getting outsiders into the universe, fans of the series will be glad to see that this final season will continue. What puzzles and decisions will you encounter along your your journey playing as Clementine? Who knows, because I've never played any of the Walking Dead games, but I know there are a lot of people out there that really love this series, so it's definitely very positive to see Episode 3 being released on the Nintendo Switch. Like I said, this game will be coming out on the Nintendo Switch on January 15th, so you can continue your adventure in the Walking Dead universe. On January 18th, you have a very interesting third-party exclusive for the Nintendo Switch with Travis Strikes Again No More Heroes. Now, the No More Heroes series games gained a lot of fanfare on the Wii, and Travis Touchdown is back on the Switch with Travis Strikes Again No More Heroes. Now, this is a very different style of game, though, from the traditional No More Heroes games. Basically, Travis enters the Death Drive Mark II, which is a gaming console, and must defeat seven different games, all with a different genre. So there's action games, puzzle games, racing games, and more. There's also boss battles and local multiplayer and even a season pass that extends the game. I think the graphical style is all right. It's definitely something that I feel like it needs to be played in order to enjoy it, but I have somewhat high hopes for this game. It is a budget release at $39.99, but I definitely will be checking this out as I was a big fan of the No More Heroes games on the Wii. Like I said, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes will be releasing on January 18th for the Nintendo Switch and should be an interesting game. And the final game I want to talk about releases on January 24th for the Nintendo Switch, and that is Smite. Now, admittedly, I honestly thought Smite was like an online card game, so I was shocked when it wasn't, because I really don't pay attention to many free-to-play games, but games like Fortnite, Paladins, and Warframe have kind of changed my mind on the situation, and Smite looks like a really fantastic MOBA. You take control of a god, a goddess, or various other mythical creatures, and you upgrade your characters as you go along, taking out various characters and towers as you try and take down the enemy team in this five on five MOBA game. There's a lot of different game modes in the game as well. It's a game that's been consistently updated since its release 
released on other platforms. It's very big in the esports universe. It kind of reminds me a bit of Arena of Valor, which is a good thing. And considering it's a free-to-play game, and free-to-play games seem to be doing very well on the Nintendo Switch, I think Smite will end up being another huge hit on the Switch. Like I said, Smite comes to the Nintendo Switch on January 24th, and it's free, so you might as well check it out. All right, and those are the best upcoming Nintendo Switch games for the month of January 2019. Honestly, there's some pretty good stuff in here. Definitely some unique stuff like Travis Strikes Again. Definitely some interesting stuff like that snowboarding game. I definitely have my eye on that because I like snowboarding games and skateboarding games. I think they're pretty fun. And of course, you have Nintendo releasing new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which has the worst name for a game ever. But let me know in the comments section down below what games you're looking forward to in the month of January. And if you feel I missed any games, because sometimes I do miss games. I am human. I am not perfect i am flesh and blood a man that's a really dated reference but anyways thank you guys for checking out this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications we're doing one of these videos every month and as always i will catch you guys on the next video later